Hi, this is Daisy's Craft Patch, and we're going to do some pouring. I just watched a few videos. I'm feeling inspired. You probably can hear all of the crickets and cicadas outside. It's a really nice start to the fall. So we're going to see what happens. I have four colors plus white today. I have Prussian Blue from Golden, and I have light blue from Liquitex, white, yellow from Golden, and I mixed cadmium red and crimson from Liquitex. So we're going to go ahead and pour and see what happens. I have uh, push pins underneath my canvas. I have already used my trusty level to make sure that it's even. Some people chuckle but for me it makes sure that everything dries properly and I have a puppy pad which I find helpful and then I just poured some white around the edges just to make sure that I have some paint on the edges and then it also helps with just everything flowing directly off of the edge so we'll go ahead and start pouring Start with some blue and turquoise and white. I do not have any silicone in these paints. yellow red blue and I'm just going to keep layering I want a lot of paint And now I'll pinch and pour and I'm just going to move back and forth up and down as opposed to in a circle and we'll see what happens. like this. I'm trying to stay in the same spot, but there we go. That's a little better. Okay. Well, it looks very nice inside. The cup and Let's move this around and see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and get some of the air bubbles out. Quickly, you can see some cells are actually starting to form. And that's just by nature of the air and sometimes it happens. I don't want to go too fast because I really like what's happening. Yeah, see, I went too fast and then the color started to come over itself. Yeah, 
होता cells that are forming I think I would have layered it a little more some less white and more red. Just gonna pour this on the edges here. I really am a little bummed about losing some of the yellow and red. That's what an experiment's for, right? I think I want this kind of down here. I'm really amazed at the cells. And bit of red and yellow in that corner. Let's have some turquoise and maybe one more blue. If it will come out. Actually, I have a squeeze bottle. Right on the end there. Let's see. Right on the end there. A little bit on the end there. We're going to have some pulling on the edges, but that's what happens. And the trials and tribulations of. There we go. Let's get some of these air bubbles in again. certainly is making a difference. I really do want to get rid of some of that white on this end. I don't mind having it pull from the edges. I'd rather not have it. There we go. So that is the experiment. Let me grab a paper towel. And I'm really impressed with all those cells without any silicone. I must say, that's not happened before. So it definitely is a special evening. And let's see if I can't zoom in a little. 
so that you can see. And let's lower the camera. There we go. So you can see some of the yellow coming through here, some of the red coming through here on the edges. You can see a lot of the red coming through here. I definitely would layer more yellow and red because I would like to see a little more of those striations, uh, but not bad for, you know, an experiment. So happy creating and Let's see what you do.